Hi guys, Larissa here with May Arts Ribbon for another Ribbon Wednesday. And today I thought it'd be kind of fun um, to make a tag and I kind of want to show you a fun idea um, that I had. Um, and then I also wanted to share a product with you um, that I actually just became aware of. Um, and this is the Unity Stamp um, Kit of the Month. Um, and I just found out about this and I think it's like $32 um, every month and that's with shipping and handling um, and you get a set of specialty um, unity stamps sent right to your door um, and I am new to this so I wanted to try it out and see what it was about um, so this is the kit that I just got for March um, and I thought I'd share it with you because I thought a lot of these stamps were super, super fun. Um, I loved all the different balloons and then the graduation and even this um, ribbon um, and the fun background. Um, and then I love this banner and I'm actually um, have made a card for a challenge and I'm going to come back and share with you um, the card that I made using this banner. Um, but as you can see, the stamps are actually considerably larger than what they appear on the front. Um, so like you can see that banner down here. And you can see the balloons, um, the sizes that they are. Um, and then you can see the fun uh, background, that it really is a large background stamp. Um, so anyway, we're going to be using the Welcome, welcome Home um, little stamp that's in this set for our project today. Um, and it's actually, um, I have a couple of friends who just moved um, to new homes, and so I was going to make um, a cute little tag for some goodies that I'm going to take over um, to them. So anyway, I'm just going to start with a white um, regular sized um, tag and then I can't find my punch. I think my little guy Beckett ran off with it, but it's the Jenny Bolin um, house, like little town punch. Um, and I made these super, super cute little house uh, flowers. Um, and you can kind of tell that they're houses. Um, but I just thought that it turned out beautiful, and so I thought I would share my idea with you. Um, and depending on how wide you cut your strip, um, that'll depend on how wide your rosette is. Um, and on this one, you can tell I made a flatter um, version um, instead of taking my score um, pal. And I scored every fourth of an inch um, and then just band it together. Um, so you can see here, I went ahead and laid it on my score pal and scored every fourth of an inch. And then you just accordion fold it um, back and forth till you get your shape. And then you glue, whoops, and then you glue the ends together and you want to make sure that they line up. So you'd glue it like this so that you have a continuous uh, ring and then you'd um, you want the decorative side out and then you push this all together um, and then you fan it out to make your little rosette um, once you have it glued like that um, and then you have your little rosette and then you can layer them or do whatever but um, this one you can tell will be a flatter one like the first one that I did. Um, so depending on how you measure your strip will depend on what size of a rosette that you get. Um, so anyway, we're going to take one of the fun little house rosettes and then we're also going to use this little house trim. And I just wanted to use it on the edge of my tag so that you could tell more that it was a house. Um, but before we glue any of this down, I'm going to take a stamp, and this is by Memory Box. Um, it's a text stamp. Um, I just loved the worn look and the text and everything, so I'm actually going to use some Hero Art Shadow Ink and Soft Sand. And 
we're just going to ink up our text stamp here. And then I'm actually going to um, kind of smear it in places because I don't want it to be perfect. Um, I want it kind of to be old and aged looking. And we're just going to stamp that right on our tag. And ooh, I love it. And you can tell we kind of get like a worn aged look which I love. I just wanted a little bit of texture for the background. Um, so next we're gonna take our glue here and we'll attach our little edge. And I'm just going to glue um, just a little bit above on these little ed on the little edges um, because I don't want this to lose its shape. I kind of want it to be uh, edged like that and I'm gonna line it up with my tag and I want it to be on this side and I'm gonna line it up with the edge of my tag and just stretch it out just a little bit I kind of want the houses to be lined up with the edge of my tag there All right, so you can kind of tell, I kind of left that um, zigzaggy a little bit because I like the texture that it gives. All right, okay, next what we're gonna do is we're going to take some beautiful May Arts ribbon and this is VK44 and it's like a red with a green little stripe and I love just love the way that this looks and we're just going to cut a strip for the edge here of the tag just a couple inches here perfect and then we're going to take the welcome home stamp from the unity stamp stamp collection and I know a lot of you out there, I don't know whether you've ever tried cutting your stamps or not, but I actually want this to be a layered stamp. So I'm actually going to take my Tim Holtz stamps and very carefully I'm going to cut in between the letters. Very carefully. And what I love about this is that you can still put this back together on the block and stamp with it like it were one. Um, but now I have two separate stamps. So I'm actually just going to take my, wood, my little acrylic block and remove the paper here. And line this up on my block. And then I'm going to use archival jet black ink. And I'm actually going to set my flower on here so that I kind of have a place, a position of where this is going to be on my stain, on my tag. All right, so I have that inked up and we're just gonna come down here and I'm gonna center that right on my tag. And then we're going to ink up the home. I'll center that on my little block here. Oops, it helped to take the paper off. I'm going to center that on our little block here. And then I will ink that up as well. Oh, shoot. And then you can even see my welcome. I'm sorry, guys. That wasn't very good. We have had beautiful weather here in Nebraska and my son is getting ready for kindergarten roundup and I'm just shaking. I'm not ready for him to go to kindergarten next year, but he's all excited so I'm going to be excited too. <laughs> anyway, next we'll 
just run a little bit of glue along the edge here. So they're getting ready for kindergarten roundup and then our Y. We have a Y and uh, they're on the spring schedule. So we have spring, this free swimming in the afternoon. So he gets done with preschool and we just got back from swimming and all sorts of fun things. We have new baby calves coming every day. And um, so I'm gonna try to um, take the camera out and get a little video for you guys of our farm life around here. Um, it's pretty fun in the springtime. So anyway, that's what that's looking like so far. And then we're going to add our fun little flower. So I'm just gonna add some glue. And to make this pop off the tag a little more, I did add some um, ink to the edges um, to define it a little more. Hopefully you can see that. Um, and I'll set this on here, like so. And then I actually have this chipboard piece from the Cosmo Cricut um, circa 1934 uh, paper line. I can't remember if these are adhesive backed or not. I thought they were. Okay, they are. But I think I'm going to add just a little bit of glue just on the safe side. I don't want this coming off. And then I added um, a little gem to the center to kind of give it some added life. And I'm just going to put that right in the center. And then we're going to take some of our new crinkle satin ribbon, um, which is UK514, and I love this. It's so pretty. Um, and then we'll use that for the top of our tack. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and um, I will be back with another fun um, card to share with you using one of the other stamps from the Unity Stamp Kit. And then I hope you will join me next Wednesday for another Ribbon Wednesday. And now my little dish of food will have a fun new tag to put on it that we can sign um, saying welcome to your new home. So anyway, I hope you guys will try out the Jimmy Bolin punch, edge punch, and try to make a fun little flower or use it in a different way. And I hope you'll check out the Unity Stamp Kit, um, monthly kit. I am just so excited that I stumbled upon it. And um, so far, I love the stamps that came. Um, and I hope you guys have a fabulous, fabulous week. And I will see you next Wednesday for another May Arts Ribbon Wednesday. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a fabulous, fabulous day.